Let me say it's a turning point in the sense that we can never again say that anything is impossible. Right. Uh, because it tells us that if you have the right message, you have the right talent, uh, the right perspective, the people will support you. And what's great about his election, Casey, is that it wasn't just African Americans, although they came out in overwhelming numbers. It wasn't uh, just young people, even though they came out in overwhelming numbers. It was women and men, black and white, rich and poor, urban, suburban, and rural, uh, every ethnicity, uh, every class. And that's what made it so amazing. And what he's also done that I think that makes this unusual, he's changed the political terrain. The millions of young people who are interested in Barack Obama are now interested in democracy and government. And I'm hoping to see your generation of folks not just thinking about who they're going to elect but, and not waiting for a messiah, but saying, yes, I can too. I can be the mayor, I can be the governor, I can be the CEO, I can be the president of the university, that, that there's no limit to what people can do. And the excitement of young people is what is particularly palpable to me. And I think that's the, going to be the lasting impact of what uh, Barack Obama means. Let me say one other thing, uh, the word of caution. It doesn't mean that some of my dearest friends say that we're in a post-racial right, era. Right, that's getting there. Right? So if you and I walk out of this building right now, Certain parts of Cambridge, we know uh, we're going to be profiled. Mm -hmm. If you and I are in New York or South Central or Detroit or Washington, D.C., there are things that still need to be addressed. But at least the idea that Barack Obama on March 18th of 2008 had this major address on race, I think the conversations about race will be better, more textured, uh, more wholesome, uh, and more uplifting and more progressive than ever before. In your generation in particular, young people who don't see the same barriers that impacted my grandparents and my parents uh, will find that uh, those issues will be irrelevant. When you see young Artur Davis, uh, one of Barack's uh, protégés, uh, another student of mine who is a congressman from uh, Alabama, when you see Hill Harper, another student of mine who's an actor uh, and doing the work that he's doing, when you see the important work that Michelle Obama has Deval done. Patrick as well, man. Absolutely. I think. Right, Deval Patrick. I mean, look, it's across the board. Women and men, black and white, are doing important things. So I think that's the transformative quality that we're experiencing now. And it's a good time to be alive to see all these great things happening.